Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ten Minutes Astrology. Once a week, Alejo and I will meet here and are going to help everyone to learn astrology. Hello, Alejo. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Well, very well. Yeah, because we are starting the new topic because previous topic was a little bit heavy. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit heavy. I love your shirt, by the way. I should prepare for today. Aries. Have, you always wear very nice shirts. Ah, thank you. That's <laughs> true. I don't pay so much attention to what I dress. I just put something and that's it. Oh. You ah. have nice clothes. Well, but you look handsome. The handsome boy doesn't doesn't need to pay attention on their clothes. They ah. better just be naked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So because we I, we speak so directly because they fit into today's topic. It's true. Oh, Mars so. in Aries, like bah, Mars bah, is bah. bang bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> we are just nearly there. That they could talk about sex, but no subtlety. No. Yeah. Mm, yep. No. Okay. Today we're going to talk about the Mars in Aries, but uh, you. I have to let our audience know. If you study astrology, especially in the modern psychological astrology way, a symbol can speak a lot of things. Mars is not just about the violence or anger or sex. Mars can be a lot of things. Of course, in ancient time, they think Mars is the 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 malefic and the break things down or cut things off. That's true. That's Mars. Today, we're going to focus on a very two particular area. And the third, because we want to make this Mars work in everyday life. So we will focus on one topic is how Mars in this site get job done. How they get job done. And then we also going to look about in the office, in everyday life, how we face, how we recognize, how we face our failure and how we to accept that defeat. That is also related to Mars. Okay, should we start, Alejo? So should we get it started with the Mars in Aries about the, how they get things done? <laughs> okay, good, yes. So I think it's very important what you're saying. Mars is our drives, it's how we start things. So it's not just about anger, it's, it's action. Mm. Uh, so I would say, okay, if Mars is in Aries, the sense of action cannot wait. When we want to start something, when we want to do something, we cannot wait. We have to start it now. I also think there's this idea of doing things and, you know, not being able, not perhaps it's not, not being able, it's not giving enough time to think mm -hmm. about what I'm going to do and mm -hmm. to just go and act and do it. And mm -hmm. I would say, you know, mercenaries, if things don't go right, you know, it's the kind of people that would say, well, how could I know if I don't do it? You know, some people you tell them, ah, let's do this or that. And they say, okay, I'm going to think about it. Mercenaries is like, okay, let's do it. Or, okay, no, I won't do it. Or, or yes or no. But it's not like there's nothing to think. Because for mercenaries, it's like, it's only in the doing that you will realize the result. Mm. That you will realize. And I think it's so, you know, Aries, I think it's so about, it's so much about being passionate and being, mm. and, and following your desires and your drives. So there's, there's, there's nothing, why should you wait? There's nothing to wait for. So I have I, this, you know, this idea of being perhaps impulsive, very mm -hmm. active, uh, very direct, like you were saying, uh, not asking for permission, this sense of, I have mm -hmm. the right to try these things, I have the right to do stuff, I don't need other people to allow me to do it. Yeah, I agree with you. And this, this Mars in Aries is a super powerhouse, it's kind of a, the, the drive. I think one thing, one key, uh, you, you mentioned, they may be not think about it, they may not think about it, but that from 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 outsider from outsider from other people's view, that's the desire. That's the desire, and that's a spontaneous. That's kind kind of a really come out from their coding. They don't need other people to begging them. They don't need other people to ask them. Mars and Aries do what they want to do. It's like I want, I will do it. If I don't want, you cannot force me. Exactly. Yeah, that's and, a sense of autonomy. I think also in Aries. Yes autonomy and that is so so mars in aries that that is the they don't ask permission no that's my right that's that what exactly. how i born like this way um before we jump into the failure and defeat you you want to add anything 
on the top of the holiday kissing stone. Um, I can't wait, Marcinaris, to go to failure. <laughs> Talk about failures. Failure. Okay, that's a serious. Take, take it serious. Um, before you start, I will say something because I because I have to say it before you. You have no, you, you have say, so you much. Say. Come on, I talk too much. No, no. Yes. I want to joke one thing. I only want to joke one thing. It, it was come from. I have to mention the original author. I think is Bernadette Brady, Doctor Bernadette Brady. We all love her. She is so creative and she is also a genius in astrology. She mentioned about that those who had the Mars in essential dignity, for example, Mars in uh, Aries, Mars in Scorpio, and Mars in Capricorn, they don't enjoy the to be failure. <laughs> <laughs> I think nobody enjoys failure, but yeah, Mars, I guess Mars in in a strong in a considered traditionally strong position yeah can't stand no 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 i have won so i know <laughs> yes yes uh, they always have to win yes yes if i don't win i don't play <laughs> and maybe but this is because you, it's not in mars i go I, because it's not in aries maybe in mars in scorpio and capricorn they will see they will first assess will i win or not and then yes. they decide mars in aries i think just goes into it and then realizes and it it, it cannot accept that it lost it will yeah. try to keep uh, fighting and going and going it's like the, the you know it's like the kind of person when they <laughs> When they lose a game, they start coming up. I know because you cheated because of this. Because of that. So <laughs> are we are we talking about sour way. loser? <laughs> Sorry, are we talking about sour loser? So so people who who complain a lot when they lose a game. Yeah, I would say, and they get very annoyed and pissed off. Yes. The other thing yeah. about Marcinari is the good thing is that it's quick. So maybe mm -hmm. you have an argument with them. If you win, you have an argument with them because they get pissed off. But after. Five or ten minutes, everything is back to normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they will try to find another target to, to conquer. So yeah, <laughs> which is true. The the failure, they I think uh, the 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 defeat and failure for them is such a huge thing to be honest, because they won't believe it. They, these things, this kind of vocabulary never exists in their mind. <laughs> I, I I'm not a failure. This should not happen to me. I everywhere I go, I succeed. Everywhere I go, I conquer, I overcome. That's in their mind because that's their Mars spirit, Mars in Aries, the best Mars in the world. So they never they never think about they I don't know, depend on the, the configuration in the chart, does Mars contact with Saturn or or any other planet? They will maybe pay more attention about the assessment risk assessment or something but if we're just thinking about the mars in aries they probably just like uh, i don't even think about that i just do it and i don't even do the assessment so there is the chance when they face their defeat and failure they couldn't accept it but i agree with you that will not last long <laughs> yeah so today uh should we look our case because we also choose a very interesting case. I think we both know Joseph Campbell, and uh, and his, uh, I think, a very famous work about uh, you know myth and uh, heroic journey. Yes. So he has Mars in Aries, and like you said, he was the one who developed the idea of the monomyth mm -hmm. and so the only thing I should say is that there is this sense of when he describes the myth, the mm -hmm. monomyth, so basically the monomyth is the idea that there's a basic structure in every heroic myth in the past and this structure is always repeated and when it's not repeated the reason why it's not repeated is also symbolic and significant. And this is what he said. And he, when in his book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, I think it's called, or Mask yes. Faces. Yes, Hero with Thousand Faces, yes. Um, he says that, he says that, okay, the reason why we study these myths and these 
the fight that these heroes had to do is because we're going to face the same fights in everyday life. Mm. So we don't have to fight alone. This is what he says. Oh, but what I like very much is this idea. He says, okay, they go and fight dragons and they go and fight warlocks. Yeah. Uh, well, we have to fight our boss. We have to fight our sense of, uh, I don't know, our sense of not being able to do what we want or our sense of uh, having to do a lot of effort to achieve what we want. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like, and these tribulations that we face in everyday life, well, we're not alone. He says mm. there are all of these heroes who have fought for us and they will guide our way. So, you know, he, he has this idea of life as a conflict and you, you fight, you fight with this conflict to become the hero, right? Then of oh. course it develops in a different way because the hero finally mm. discovers that he's fighting himself, blah, blah, blah. But the first, the, the first step is this decision to, yeah, to go for it. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that is so beautiful because I think while you're talking about this, I can recognize this uh, uh, this uh, image with his uh, Mars in 21 degree Aries square the moon at 26 Cancer. And that fighting in the everyday life, the struggling, and that they both want to become hero, moon in moon in Cancer and the Mars in the Aries. So so they kind of a, a, our heroic journey in the everyday life. You know, that very interesting and the, the step, the first step, that was kind of a yes, that, that is the beginning of the, the the journey is quite interesting because I remember Alejo, you also have a uh a study around this topic and you used to give a, a few talk related yes. to the, the heroic journey and the, which I really, really, really like and because I love Joseph Campbell too and uh, that is very interesting to look his chart and find out he has Mars in Aries talking about a heroic journey. He just lived his chart out, you know. He lived his heroic journey himself. Yeah. And he had to fight. He really had to be courageous and, um, you know, open, open his way through this idea. Mm. Yes. Wow. That is so interesting. Thank you, Alejo, to share this with us. I think that no matter what Mars, I, I have to say that from from the modern astrological view, modern psychological astrological view, every planet has their own uh, virtue, has their own power, yes. has their own strengths. Every planet, there's no not such thing as a good or bad. Well, their own energy, how you use it, you know, um, that that's my view. I mean, my personal view because I don't really enjoy my, maybe my training from faculty. So make me train, maybe really don't want to say any planet is such bad things. And it's all how you use it, where you're going to use it. Yes, I mean there are some placements that we might judge as more challenging than others. Yes, but again, I think it's coming from our own perspective. I remember in the in summer school actually that we were talking about summer school the other day. Yeah. When I was in summer school, we did this exercise about um, we were looking at the chart and we had to decide what we find the most attractive and what we find the most difficult, perhaps, of this chart. Mm -hmm. And strangely enough, some people chose the same things. I remember there was a moon in, in Scorpio uh -huh. and some people chose it as a challenging thing. Mm -hmm. And some people actually chose it as a positive thing. They were like, no, a moon in Scorpio, no, it's a very deep connection. A person yeah face uh, the deaths who can face pain who will be with you in very dark times mm -hmm. and uh, so and they were like there's this magnetic uh, pulse these interesting things that are occult mm. in esotericism or stuff like that and others were saying like no moon in scorpio it's going to be manipulative it's going to be <laughs> uh, too intense uh, it's going to want to merge with you forever and you know somebody was saying it's going to want to merge with you and the ones who liked it, they were like, yes, we're going to do Yes, I was thinking <laughs> so, about that. If 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 I like someone and who has the morning Scorpio who want to merge with me in time of their life, why complain? Exactly. So I think it depends a lot on your inner structure. When you when you when you decide that some placements are more challenging than others, I think it really depends on your own structure and your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree with Alejo. Well, I think even this is such a simple topic. I think some some people would think 
if they talk about the Mars again, do they have a find anything else to talk? But I think this is the deep, this is the interesting of astrology. Even to be honest, even we can talk about sunshine like that in deeps, in deeps, and then bring a lot of meaning out. And that's decide how we're going to see the things. And uh, I really enjoy this type of talk because uh, even just talk about Mars, we can really deep connect with our chart and with uh, with ourselves to find out how to find our strengths and how help us to 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 deal with this uh, defeat and failure. That's how I suggest we talk about this from you know from this week because it would be so useful. Okay, so well, next week we will move to the next slide, which is a Mars in Taurus. Taurus. Okay, so thanks everyone for watch and listening 10 Minutes Astrology. Um, see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.